Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I hope everyone had a nice Christmas if you celebrate it. Um, and this video I wanted to show you guys all my origamis from this year. Um, so 2020 is coming to an end. And I just want to review with you all the origamis that I did this year. And since I didn't do that many, I'll also show like origamis that I keep uh, either because I really like them or because uh, I don't know just the other games that I had stored I'm just gonna show them in this video uh, just because and I also have a little bonus uh, at the end of the video and it's gonna be pretty funny so make sure you stick around to see it uh, so yeah let's get started so I guess we can uh, show the other games that are actually from 2020 Maybe all of you have seen them, but I can show you. So we have, for example, we have this one, the Ankylosaurus. Uh, so yeah, all the origamis that I showed that in which I have a video of, I'll just link it in the description. Uh, so you, either it's a time lapse or a tutorial. Uh, so I'll just make sure to link it there. So yeah, a really fun model. I did a time lapse on it. It's from, from uh, it's by Daniel Cole. I will, I'm not not sure if it, I'm saying it right, but I think it is. Um, yeah, next one. So I have um, Satoshi Kamiya's Wasp. Really cool. I also have a time lapse on this one. Then I have here this origami that was my design. Um, the it's a wolf head. It's a, more specifically, it's a copy from the Witcher's medallion. Uh, I also I so this yeah this is my design. Uh, and I have I don't have a tutorial, but I have a small video on it. Uh, yeah, I really like it. So next we can ha we have the Dragon Knight by Obelisk. And I do have a tutorial and a time lapse on this origami. It's really cool. There's the three heads and the the knight there. A really cool model. I do have a tutorial, so if you want to know how to do it, um, make sure to check the description. And I guess I only have one other model from 2020, but uh, it's a big one. It's let's say the crown jewel, which is. Obviously, the Ryujin 3.5. Um, yeah, this is obviously for me it was a big achievement because I, I was dreaming on dreaming of doing this origami for a long time, and I finally did it. Uh, I do have a time lapse on it as well, um, so I'll just link it in the description as well. So yeah, I guess yeah, as you can see, I'll just post them all put them all here, all of them are from the same exact paper, from craft paper, sorry about that, <laughs> I'm trying to to get to, to get better and making more paper and different paper, so hopefully uh, the next origamis will be uh, with different papers. So yeah, I guess we can now start uh, reviewing some old origamis that I had lying around, just get that out of the frame. And let's start simple. So I have here this skull, which is really fun and really good looking. I have no idea when I folded this or by whom it is, uh, but it's, it's really nice. I really like it. Uh, then we have, oh yeah, this one is really old. This one is the, the Hell, Hell Cover, yes, by Kate Chan. It's all dusty. <laughs> um, it's all dusty and um, uh, and wrinkled. You can see, you can't even see. But I really enjoyed making. As you can see, this 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 is supposed to be uh, yellow. If I open here, you can see it's yellower than this one because it was supposed to be black and yellow. Uh, but I guess that color just vanished. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, it's a really nice model. I. I think I have a video on it as well, yes, a time lapse. Um, yeah, it's really fun. 
Mm, next, what can I show you? I can show you this one. So another my, of my designs, which you guys really enjoyed, which is the Rayquaza. This was the first one that I made. The first one and the only decent one, I guess. Um, so yeah, this was my, this is my most complex design so far. I really enjoy it. I do have a tutorial on it. Um, next, we can show another origami from Kate Chan, which is the alien. Funny story about this origami is uh, when I first, uh, so it's all wrinkled as well. So when I first found it, found out, found out about it, I tried to, to collapse it from the grease pattern. There were no tutorials at that time, but there is now. Uh, and I was not experienced with grease patterns, but it was, it was actually a very good practice because I managed to, to do most of the things. I managed to collapse the grease pattern, but not shape it. Um, and it was really fun to, I, re, I remember it very well uh, trying to fold this model from the Chris pattern. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really cool model. Next, uh, oh, I can show you the other Ryujin that I have, which is the Ryujin uh, 2.1. It's not that great, honestly. Um, but, uh, well, it's what I have. <laughs> I have. I do have a video on it. Um, now, let's see. Oh, I can show you more models from Satoshi Kamiya. These ones you probably know, obviously. So we have my, this, is, this one is the Asian dragon. And uh, this one is the best I made so far. Then I have here the divine dragon as well. I actually like this one better than the Asian dragon, I think. Mine is not that well shaped, but um, I think it's, uh, it's really cool. Uh, next, what I have more. So I have this origami, which it's very different from the rest. It's the dinosaur skeleton. Don't know by who, um, but I do also have a video on it. But yeah, it's it's a really fun uh, model to do. The CP, I don't remember it correctly, but I'm assuming that it's quite simple. But the, the, the tricky part is shaping. Yeah, um, next up, ooh, another model that I, no, I'll leave that last. Um, I have this one, which is the God of Thunder. Um, I don't remember who it is from, but I know I folded this from the crease pattern. I don't really like the shaping, it's not that great, but I think the head doesn't look that bad actually, but the body could have been better. Um, and I have also this one, which I really like, which is, I don't know if I've ever showed this one, which is the Great White Shark. It's awesome that we just, I can remove this now, but yeah, look at those teeth. It's a really fun model. Uh, it's really big, as you can see. Yeah, I really like it. And I have here one more, um, which is one of my favorites, which is the Alduin by Satoshi Kamiya. This one is really big and I really enjoy this model. Um, the crease pattern is very, very easy, but the shaping is <laughs> extremely hard, extremely, like, <laughs> extremely, extremely, Jesus, extremely hard. Um, the tail and the neck. I remember specifically the tail. I took a lot of time uh, shaping it, but I really love it. I ended up. This is not the original color. I ended up painting it um, more to to the original color of the Alduin from Skyrim. Um, but I really love this model. Uh, yeah, I guess these are the origamis that I have um, kept all along the years and yeah, I guess that's it. Now, like I said, I do have a little bonus for you. Let me just clear the table a little, a little bit. Just toss 
that in. Don't mind me. Uh, yeah, and what I want to do is show you the box that I found that had like, I don't know, test folds or origamis that I did like a long time ago. And I was going through my stuff and I found out and I found this box. And I, I mean, I had to see it. I had to show you guys the box. So here it is. And I mean, there's a lot of good stuff here. <laughs> so I guess we can start. Let's take out the first one. So this one, I think you can recognize it by the shape, not by the origami itself. But yeah, this is the ancient dragon. And funny story, this is actually the first ancient dragon that I did, or at least tried to do. And as you can see, the head, it's, I mean, the paper is all ripped apart. There's not really, the neck, what the hell is that? Like, the legs are decent compared to the rest. I mean, I don't think it's that bad for a first attempt, but comparing to the one I have now, which is this one, I mean, there's a big difference, especially on the head. Uh, but yeah, and I had no idea what to use as a paper back then. I, had, I didn't know about tissue paper or um, craft paper. So what I did, so if you notice, <laughs> this is actually wrapping paper from gifts, which I glued um, tissue foil or aluminium foil. So I glued those together and I just used this. I mean, it worked. <laughs> it, I guess it, it kind of worked, right? Uh, but yeah, this is really funny. Anyways, yeah, just just to let you know, obviously everyone starts out like that, okay? So don't, um, it's normal to have folds like this, like this is my, I actually did this. Like, I have no idea how I managed to do this, to do something like this while I now do something uh, extremely, extremely, extremely different. God, I can't say that word. Okay, moving on. What else? Uh, so, no, this is no, nothing special, it's just a man with by Satoshi Kamiya, so nothing special there. Uh, another model from Satoshi Kamiya. Oh, this one. So, this one is a spread hexagon tessellation, and wow, it's filled with dust. <laughs> and I'm just showing this one because I remember when I first learned how to do this one, which in fact was from a time lapse, I actually remember perfectly the video from which I, I learned. I just remember like moving frame at frame, at, uh, at frame, frame by frame, just <laughs> figuring out how to do this origami. And I'm showing you this because um, once I learned how to do it, I just spent all day in classes just doing this origami. Uh, and it was really fun, it's really satisf satisfying. Yeah. Oh, this one. This one. If you can tell, it's a Ryujin, my first Ryujin 2.1. Um, I mean, if you cover the head, it kind of looks like the Ryujin, like the scales, it has the arms, it doesn't have toes at all, but what the hell is going on with this head? <laughs> I mean, what the hell is this? I mean, I don't even know what paper this is. This, this paper looks like fabric. It's, I don't even know, it's like, you can see the, uh, the fibers coming out of it. I don't even know what type of paper it is, but in fact, this is the first Ryujin 2.1 that I actually did. Um, so yeah. Um, what do I have here? So I have, so yeah, this was, uh, this is the Phoenix by Satoshi Kami, so it's really uh, messed up because I keep it in this box. But this was uh, the phase where I only used tissue paper with aluminium foil, like I used that for every origami. As you can see, most of them here are from that. So I have here also, this one is actually really cool. It's the Scorpion by Robert J. Lang, I believe. This one turned out to be really cool. Uh, more, oh, this one. Uh, again, aluminum foil, the same exact paper. But this one, this one, if I'm not mistaken, is the, the first origami that I did by the Chris Patton, um, which is, uh, an origami dwarf. I think it looks okay. And I specifically remember this crease pattern and trying to solve it, so it was really fun and I'm really proud of it. Or at least I was proud of it, I think. <laughs> yeah. 
what else what else so i have a big thing here that i'll get in a moment so let's get so i have this spider i mean i don't even know what part is the head is this the head maybe yeah whatever <laughs> i have oh this uh, dobson fly by brian chan i think i have a tutorial on it as well yeah next one some bug don't know which one oh this one wow that's bad it's the cerberus 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 what i don't know uh from satoshi gamiya i should redo this model it's a really fun model or a really cool model at least and not in this one it looks like crap um i have another ancient dragon this is uh from tissue paper like without anything it's just plain tissue paper um, so you can still do origami with it, it although it doesn't yeah it look as it it's uh, it open up opens up completely um then i have oh this uh, this is another one from just plain tissue paper um, and this is the western dragon i think that's how it pronounces by sushi kato sushi Suki cup, yes. I, I always say sushi, <laughs> no idea why. Uh, but yeah. And then I have, oh, this one I know it's the tarantula form from Robert J. Lang. Really nice model. And just uh, some, what? Oh, yeah. I, I guess I can talk about this right now. So, what the hell is this, right? So, I don't know if you know what type of origami this is, but basically, I found out about this origami, I don't know when and I was really in love with it. And what this consists basically is you make small triangles like this, and this is just made from a small paper, if I unfold it, just from this small paper right here. And you make thousands and thousands of these small triangles and you just stick them all together. As you can see, each triangle has um, two slots and two uh, ends, and then you can just do like this and just insert them and you you just stack them together and do this um, forever and I specifically remember the model that I did with this one which is a um, which was a cobra like the body was was like waving and then we had the head this was part of the head um, and yeah I I don't think I have any photos of it sadly but it was <laughs> I mean the amount of paper that you use to make these squares like it's, I don't even know, I can't even imagine how many squares there are here. I think I have a, a bucket full of these uh, actually that I didn't use. Um, but yeah, that's the story behind it. Um, no idea what this is. It looks some kind of crease pattern, don't know from which. Oh, I think I do know which from which it is, but I can't show you. I can't tell you because I think it's from the origami that I'm actually doing, but I'm not. A, I mean, this is already it's not actually accurate, accurately folded, but hmm, I'll keep that. <laughs> um, I have another tarantula, worst one. This is all it's ripping apart in the middle. And uh, oh, I love this one. It's it's all wrinkled up. But it's the whale. The whale. If I'm not mistaken, by Satoshi Kamiya, and it's a really fun model actually. Uh, it looks really accurate, it has some volume to it, it's really fun. And I guess the only thing that's left for this one, it's a knight, I don't know from where. So a knight on, on a horse. Um, yeah, and I guess that's, that's it. Uh, I hope you could, you could laugh at my origamis like I did when I first found this box. I know I have a lot more lying around or in the trash. Most, most of them probably are in the trash. The ones that I just uh, folded uh, out of nothing to do. Um, oh, I actually need to talk about this one. Um, so this is a, a very well-known model, which is the Fury Dragon by Kit Chan. And I specifically remember trying to learn how to fold this origami you you per, you people that are uh, older to origami or i've been doing origami for a long time probably know what i'm talking about but uh, tadashi mori had a channel on the on his youtube 
uh, teaching you how to make this origami. And I specifically remember the first time that I tried to do this, I could not. I mean, it was a video explaining everything and I could not do it. And it makes me, it makes me wonder because how things have changed now, you know? If I look at that video, I mean, yeah, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward how to do, but I couldn't do it. Um, so yeah, it's another perspective. And I specifically have this one because once I learned how to do it, I completely memorized everything, completely memorized all the steps, and I just, even, I just did it all over the place. Like, whenever I have free time at school, I did one. I just ripped the paper off, the, off my notebook and I did those, and did, and did it even more times than I did this one. If I were to guess, I would say I made about 50 of these, no joke. I, I did them all over, the, I did them like everywhere and a lot of times. Um, yeah, but that's it guys. I think I have no other origamis or no other funny origamis to show you. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope 2020, despite all its ups and downs, mostly downs, <laughs> wasn't too bad on you. Hopefully 2021 will be better. I have many things in store for it, but I'll talk to you about that on the next video. And I guess uh, next video will be in 2021. So I wish everyone a happy new year. Bye.